Indian Space Research Organisation ISRO is set to conduct a significant test flight for its ambitious Gaganyaan mission. The Gaganyaan mission is a significant step towards India's ambitious goals in space exploration, including setting up an Indian space station by 2035 and sending an Indian astronaut to the moon by 2040. Gaganyaan represents India's first foray into human space flight. ISRO is set to conduct a crew escape test, a trial of their indigenously developed crew escape system CES. Although the forthcoming launch will not bear human passengers, ISRO will launch an empty capsule to replicate an abort scenario. This meticulous exercise aims to fortify the safety of the crewed mission scheduled for 2025. The CES system is the last line of defense, poised to save astronauts in the event of an emergency during the initial and critical phases of the Gaganyaan mission. The test flight TVD1, test vehicle abort mission 1, is a high altitude abort test as part of the Gaganyaan program. The CES system is designed to quickly separate the crew module from the rocket in case of an imminent failure or of nominal flight. The test flight will simulate an abort condition during the ascent trajectory corresponding to a Mach number of 1.2, a scenario that could be encountered in the actual Gaganyaan mission. The TVD1 test flight is a crucial part of the Gaganyaan program, which envisions launching a human crew to an orbit of 400 kilometers and safely returning them to Earth. The payloads of this test flight include the crew module and crew escape systems, both equipped with swift-acting solid motors. The test will recreate the abort conditions during ascent when the launch vehicle will be at an altitude of 11.7 kilometers and cruising at 1.2 Mach, a moment mirroring the Gaganyaan mission. ISRO in 2018 demonstrated the system by conducting a pad abort test. The crew escape system embodies hope in the face of adversity, ready to intervene at a moment's notice. By subjecting it to rigorous testing, ISRO pays homage to the dramatic legacy of NASA's Apollo 1 tragedy. On a fateful afternoon in January, a few weeks before the inaugural Apollo mission, astronauts Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee geared up for a simulation. They were inside the AS-204 command service module that would have taken them to the moon. Strapped in, pressurized, and connected to life support systems, they were seconds away from a routine run through. Then, in an instant, The capsule erupted into flames, reaching over 1000 degrees in a mere 25.5 seconds. NASA lost all 3 of them. This heartbreaking incident spurred NASA to reimagine spacecraft safety. It resulted in completely reshaping the course of space exploration. Taking a cue from history, the Indian Space Research Organisation is set to conduct a crew escape test, a trial of their indigenously developed crew escape system. This system is the last line of defense, poised to save astronauts in the event of an emergency during the initial and critical phases of the Gaganyaan mission. For the Gaganyaan manned mission to the moon, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced tight timelines for the country's forays into space. In aiming for newer and ambitious goals, he has directed the setting up of the Bhartiya Antariksh station, Indian Space Station, by 2035 and sending the first Indian to the moon by 2040. This is not at all order for the enthusiastic and determined teams at ISRO to achieve given the synergy and collaboration they have with other research institutions and private players in the space sector. On 17th October, at a review meeting of the Department of Space, Modi reviewed the progress of the Gaganyaan mission and evaluated its readiness. Thereafter, he suggested that DOS develop a roadmap for moon exploration. This will encompass a series of Chandrayaan missions, the development of our next generation launch vehicle, setting up human-centric laboratories and associated technologies apart from construction of a new ISRO spaceport at Tamil Nadu. The second spaceport do will be dedicated exclusively to small satellite launch vehicles developed by the private sector and will be ready in 2 years. In scaling new heights in space exploration, Modi called upon Indian scientists to work towards interplanetary initiatives that would include a Venus orbiter mission and a Mars lander. India's commitment and capabilities in space quests at relatively lower costs are already legendary. It has drawn several spacefaring nations to turn to India for ferrying their flotilla of satellites, and ISRO has helped achieve those goals with its impressive successful launch track record. Now, the laying down of aims for establishing the space station by 2035 and landing a man on the moon will provide clear focus for the growth of the Indian space sector. Except that funds have to be found for the costlier interplanetary initiatives. Establishing a space station is a daunting task. 
especially when the largest, the International Space Station, developed and maintained by the United States, Russia, Canada, Japan and European agencies is to be decommissioned by 2030. India is just the fifth nation to have end-to-end -end capabilities. What lies ahead is a stupendous task. Innovation and development of space-grade materials is an excruciating, high-precision and time-consuming exercise. It involves numerous challenges to be overcome. Numerous technologies go into developing human-rated launch vehicles and ensuring systems are tested adequately before they qualify. Around 20 major tests, including three missions of the human-rated launch vehicle, HLVM-3, are planned. 21st October first demonstration flight of the crew escape system test vehicle is only the beginning of a series of tests to ensure a safe return at the end of the space mission. The travels that scientists and technologists go through with interplanetary initiatives are evidently more thrilling than what is portrayed in science fiction films.